Alright, so this is going to be a quick guide on how to use the Story Entwine title screen script. Alright, so let's just start in the Anibal region. You have here a variable ID. Um, whatever variable ID you allow it uh, to attach to, this is what the uh, game will start using. Um, th this is what the script will start using for the rest of the uh, of the game's lifetime, pretty much. So. I have it set to 100 by default, but you can change that if you want to. Um, what this means is, whatever variable 100 is equal to during any save game, that is what uh, this script will be looking at. Okay, so in any save file, or your most recent one to be honest, your most recent save file, whatever the variable is equal to, um, that is what this script will start checking. Now. As far as this goes, this will only work um, if you have saved the game once the script has been installed. So, by default, it will be zero. All right. So here's where you get to set things up. What this means is, as I said before, whatever the variable is equal to is whatever background image will be shown with this script. All right. So. What I have here is I have it so this is your default zero is your the uh, is your default background image which I just have as background one and I have no foreground image but I can change that if I want to okay so if you do not want to have any foreground image just insert none like this in capital letters all right so this right here is your variable value and these are the images that will be displayed if it's equal to or higher than that value okay so by default as I was saying by default it will be zero until you save the game after the script has been installed so it will start off with your default background um, similarly if you uh, start a new game and you have this here set to true it will also reset the uh, title screen back to default until you go into another save file and save over it and yada yada okay so how I have it set up right now is um, by default it will show background one and once the variable goes uh, to one it will show background two once it goes above one and goes to two it will show background three okay if I then put it up to uh, variable if the variable then equals three it will still show background number three because I don't have it defined here what three will equal to which means it will just choose two instead alright and then after that I'll make the variable equal to four which will show background four and so on okay so I'm just gonna start it and show you what it is show what it looks like I should shut that off cool so this is my background by default this is uh background one because the variable is equal to zero so I'll go to continue now cool uh, go F9 that was variable 100 I have to change so go zero now save it get out of it and I'll reset oh ah uh, sorry change that to one I mean now save it Get out of it, go back in, and we're up to the uh, background number two. I think, uh, yeah, background two. So now I'll change it to variable, make the variable equal to two, which will change it to another image. Exit, go back in. There you go. So that's background three, I think. Okay, so I'll go back in again. I'll change it to 3 this time. Go back out, back in. And what's it equal to? Same image as before, because as I was stating, um, I haven't defined what 3 is equal to, which means it would just go back to the most recent one it can, which is 2 in this case, and just use that uh, background image. Alright, so for the next one, um, we can see it's working, obviously. So for these ones here, um, I'm going to have it so these ones actually show something for the foreground. So I'm just going to go into my database for a second here and see what I have to show. I have 
leaves and metal mist. So I think I'll show uh, fire and leaves. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to number four. I'm going to make this one show fire. And this one's going to show leaves. Okay. So we're equal to three currently. So I'll just go into hill. I'll change it to a three. Uh, sorry. Four. Save it. Uh, reset. And there we go. So this is my background image here, and this is my foreground image, which is, which is the file. I'm going to make it one small. Change it to a five, which makes it equal to the uh, next one. Or just change it to a six. Does matter. Reset. Boom. There we go. So my leaves and my other background image. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much all you have to do. If you want to add in more variables, you can do so by just going six or eight, whatever. It's up to you what you want them to equal to. Okay. Um, so for what I've done in here, I pretty much just made these equal to just different backgrounds based on a variable. Uh, you can do this in your game where if you're in a certain dungeon, you can change the variable to this value, and then once uh, once the player saves the game and exits and restarts, it can show the image of the actual dungeon that they were just in. So that way, it's you know showing where they left off. All right. So I'm gonna go OK. I'm gonna go new game now. And what new game will do is it will reset that variable back to zero. So if I press F12 now. It goes back to the uh, first uh, image, the default image, because it has been reset. And that is because of this option here, which is set to true. So if I was to take that off, it wouldn't reset by, by default. Okay, so to recap quickly, this is your variable ID, which the game will be checking, um, which by default is 100. Uh, if you have this set to true, whenever you start a new game, uh, your background will default back to the uh, default background images. Um, in here, this is what your variable values will be, and the background image that will be displayed, and the foreground image. So if you don't want to have any foreground image, just go none. Alright? Cool. So, one last thing, and that is you can have your background image in one of two folders. So, what I have here is, in my game here, in the uh, project here, I have background image 4 and 5 in the actual titles uh, folder. So I can either have it here, or I can have it in the pictures folder, which where I have these. So background image 1, 2, and 3, these are located in the, image, in the uh, pictures folder, whereas the other two are located in the titles 1 folder. Similarly, you can do the same thing for the uh, uh, foreground images. You can put them in pictures, or you can put them in titles. In titles too, uh, I was using the default, so it's obviously not in this project. But you can do that if you want to. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to add in more, you can do so here. Just go, you know, nine uh, background whatever you know uh, don't want to have any foreground image there you go done okay similarly if you want to remove any of these you don't want just go boom gone okay so uh, that's pretty much it enjoy the script